I'm gonna steal your sunshine and I'll shit on your parade. Don't get me started on doing my cocaine. My opinion matters, you're so far in last place. I'm not shutting up and you'll be learning my name. Fifth in the family, but first in my mind. One out of ten, but I'm ranking just fine. We've only got now, there's no afterlife. Look, mom and dad, I'm just speaking my mind. Everything's coming up, Kyle, tonight. Everything's coming up, Kyle, tonight. Everyone's coming on Kyle tonight. Wait, what? No, nobody's coming on Kyle tonight. Everything's coming up, Kyle, tonight. You can't shut this mouth. And we are live here with yep. Season 6, Episode 4 of Kyle Mocha Won't Shut Up. <clears throat> I am your host, Kyle Mocha. Thank you, everybody, for joining us, listening on iTunes, Spotify, Stitcher, anywhere you may be finding this podcast. And thank you so much to everybody who is listening and viewing on YouTube. Yeah. Make sure you go on to YouTube.com forward slash houseboat TLJ, as in Tommy Lee Jones, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and uh, click subscribe so you can be notified whenever we're releasing new videos or going live you know you want to know about those things you that want to know true. ring that bell ring ring that bell we have a very very uh special i don't know where, where would it It'd be over there i think it's like there about there yeah uh we have a very special episode uh kind i don't of believe a, uh, in bells <laughs> like bell and sebastian bell from beauty and the beast oh bell i really Valentino. do like the bell diving bell wait what I like Bell and Sebastian. Oh, okay. I was just for a sec second. I thought you just said I really didn't like them. I'm like, we've had conversations <laughs> about them, motherfucker. <laughs> Jesus. Jesus. Well, we got a really awesome show with some awesome music. A lot of music tonight. Uh, and and one uh, of the uh, the only band that's not us that's going to be playing tonight is called Merit Parcel. They're from my old stomping grounds of Hayfork, California. Yeah. And it's a little bit of an apology tour because uh, I asked them uh, three years ago for us to feature music on their show. And they said yes, sure, and sent it, and I featured never their show uh, featured their music. On no, our and they show. were like, yeah, uh, uh, featured their music <coughs> on our show, and they were like, yeah, sure, and then I was like, no response. And then uh, three years later, I look uh, to go back to all the bands that we featured in the past and be like, hey, we're wrapping up the show. Can we yeah. feature you? And uh, I looked, and the last message I had sent Sean was. Uh, the last message was him confirming that we could use his music, and we never did. So today we're going to be throwing a couple of their songs out at you. Uh, I'm if you're to hear it. if you're like us and you like bands like the Traveling Wilburys, uh, if you like any uh, troubadour style music, this is going to be for you. These guys are fucking awesome. They they do a great job. So we're going to make it up a little bit to them. Uh, but as always, I'm here and I am joined by Mr. Justin Olimpedo. Hey man, what you munching on over there, buddy? Uh, weird peanut butter cups. Weird peanut butter cups. Yeah, this we went a, to Grandpa Joe's today. Yeah, we went to Grandpa Joe's, which is a candy store in uh, Stroudsburg, Pennsylvania, and uh, we we got part of what we're going to be doing during uh, what are we drinking? 
But you, uh, or I saw these after you had yeah, already paid. I already paid. I went, Look at all these. And you I went, really wish you didn't at this point. Yeah. Um, so you are, you're eating them in worst to best order. Which and you want us to, uh, yeah. we're going to go with the, we're gonna go with the pink the, ish. The pink one. The one that's on the, the yes. far, yeah, that side. Um, so we're going to be I trying these. Say, I don't know if this is supposed to be a joke or yeah. like a bean boozled okay. type of thing. Because right. they were set up. It was four of them, so I'm yeah. like, automatically. And it was set up with all the delicious like, chocolates and fudges that they have. They're, oh, they're, man. They're glorious, glorious. It so, just tastes like what, what it has bacon bits. It's oh, supposed it's to be maple and bacon, maple but it's just bacon? like bacon bits, and there's just bad aftertastes. Well, I don't hate that. I don't know, man. Speaking of other things I don't hate, mouth noises. Mm. And one, Mr. Zachary. Oh, I want to try this. Hold on. Storman! Sound like nothing. Oh, there you go. Storman! Well, no, I, what? I, nope. <laughs> Did you break it? Did you break the bottle? Or the yep. can? Yeah. Yep. Nice. I saw this thing. This guy put the tab backwards mm -hmm. and popped it and made a crazy loud noise. Huh. I it thought maybe fake. I could do it, no, but it just, it just made, it, it just made it <laughs> really not open well. So you need, a, you need something to... You're just going to put your thumb in there and slice your finger open, aren't you? Well, I have a weird fear of the inside. Just I remember my mom telling me oh, not to like put my pushing, finger yeah. in, in, in one of them. Like, you cut your finger off. And that stayed with me for forever. No, I used to just push them open with my thumb. Yeah, yeah. I don't do that because I'm afraid of losing my thumbs. I'm an now, adult that still has the fears of a seven-year-old. So. Just keep in so mind going, going back to the peanut mm -hmm. butter cup. So no, that was that was not a peanut butter cup in any way. That was a chocolate cup. But but either way, a chocolate cup, however, it, it looks like a peanut butter cup. There's but I'm going left from over my, in my mouth. I'm going from my worst to best, yeah. I think, on the... Oh, yeah. To see if I didn't hate that the grittiness there is bacon bit residue left over in my mouth for yeah. sure, for sure. I don't think that they made real bacon. I think they no, it's bacon like bacon bits. Yeah, it's it has definitely that flavor. maybe they made the real bacon. I'm gonna be honest with you, bits. I don't get the chocolate bacon. You know, people are like, oh, chocolate covered bacon. Yeah, like, salty and sweet. Stuff. I get, I get why people like it. Uh, the idea You're of it. You're ruining two um, two things I love: two bacon things are and great. chocolate. They're just not. Don't do them at the same time. I don't hate it, but it's very, very rare you know, that I someone like does it well. I like taking big dumps and making out. <laughs> yeah. But I don't want to make out while I'm taking a big dump. You <laughs> know what, what I mean? But what if you found the person that wanted to do that with you and I don't want to do that, though. No? no? What if they made you change your heart? That your heart changed from within? That they have toilets next to each other? Yeah. Oh, well, they, they well, have, they have the, the ones that are across from each other. Yeah, they're like back to back. Or back to back so ones. So you can, you can be feeding each other you'd while you're to, shitting. Yeah, you'd sort of have to like be oh, leaning God. back. Yeah. If you're making they, out, they it's position, if you'd be like they position. I also don't want to make out and side, eat actually. at the same time. That sounds terrible. Yeah, that's so always you're not, weird. Into, you're not into like food fetish in any way. You don't want food involved. Not at all. Yeah. Do not. That's crazy. How much I'm addicted to, to I don't even uh, bring... porn, as we said on the latest episode of Let Me Ask You a Question. And uh, even like the, food, you think I'd be addicted the to the bedroom? Food. I don't bring food into my bedroom yeah. Yeah. where I sleep. Yeah. I'm not going to bring it in while I'm getting nasty. I, yeah. I try Which not to, but I get drunk and I bring a giant what if uh, you were, fucking thing of peanuts into my bedroom all the time. What if you were outside or in non-bedroom? Would you include food? I Into set? No. I'm just wondering. That's just a oh, question. Would you have backyard barbecue sex? <laughs> is what we want to no, know. You, <laughs> no, I want. I want you grinded <laughs> up on fried <laughs> chicken. All, all yeah. just soaked in I oil. I want you to quarter turn chicken. that ass. I want you to quarter turn that ass and get a nice grill mark. That's not I'm your sure ass. Whoever you're having sex with. Right, so I, wanted, I just want to be eating famous bowls, <laughs> yeah. taking a shit, making out. Uh -huh. Just Blumpkin. It sounds perfect. It sounds like everybody's dream. Now, Justin, what's this next flavor? It's the blue one that we're going with next. Uh, I believe this is either the peanut butter and jelly or the maple. All right. I'm assuming the yellow one's the one I'm not going to like, right? Yes, I All right. So. I, have, I have a palate cleanser Wait, candy oh, over I here. Hope I hate jelly. So, so no, this is the maple. This is the maple? All right. Well, we just ate the maple. No, no that, was, like that was maple bacon. All right. This uh, doesn't offend me in any way. No. It's really not a bad one. It has like almost a graham cracker taste to it. A little bit. Yeah. yeah. Brown sugar. Mm -hmm. I'm getting that, but it kind of 
It tastes like a raisin cookie. It tastes like an oatmeal raisin cookie. Yes, one hundred percent. Yeah. This tastes like a fucking oatmeal yeah, raisin cookie. Yeah, but without cookie. the raisin or the soft cookie. Soft niceness of a. I don't know. I don't. Yeah, that's don't really. Know. It's much harder than it should be to get that flavor profile. Now, I don't do know. you think the first one was better than that? No, that one was definitely better. Okay. I think that one's probably going to wind up being my, my favorite or my second favorite. No, first one was better. You like the first one better? I like, I like that one. one I like that one. Yeah. I, I just didn't like the grittiness left over. All right, now, Justin, we're going to move this torture train right along. Mm -hmm. We're starting the show off with candy, uh, so we can have a lot of energy here to get through all these music. This is banana cream. This is, I'm going to eat the whole thing. I've been eating them all. I like banana. I hate banana. I despise banana. Um, A fake banana, though, is the best. This has the flavoring of runt. Okay, I don't don't hate that. I actually have admitted to actually loving that flavor. Um... The funny thing, on Saturday, we had a little birthday uh, shindig, uh, and uh, we, we were celebrating, and a buddy, Jake, brought over a bunch of desserts, yep. and there was one that just looked like this wonderful, like, like custard cream pie thing, and I filled up a big plate of it, and I took the first bite, and it was all banana and, sh- and cherries, and I was just very, very I upset. missed that. Yeah, it was a big platter oh, sitting on the Oh, that was with the, the thing with the whipped yeah, cream or whatever. Yeah, at some point, Tommy, our buddy Tommy, was just sitting there with his sunglasses on with a fork and just <laughs> shoveling forkful after forkful into his mouth. All right, so you like banana. Are you are you pleased? Well, I jump in on this. This is more like, that tastes like a runt banana than... No, oh, it tastes more like real banana. Yeah, it tastes like a real banana. It just doesn't taste anything mm, like I guess, banana. Yeah, I guess, I guess you're right. Oh. All right, the thing is, it does have the gross texture of slimy banana. Yeah, because it's already now mashed. You're, like, I love banana. Banana is probably one yeah. of my favorite fruits. Yeah, no, banana is like, like the a last good thing. slimy, mm. like banana in a fruit salad. Oh. Give me oh, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Slimy oh, yeah I'm banana. good with that. Oh, I love if that. If there's banana in a fruit salad, I do not touch that fruit salad. Damn. If I'm taking a dump, eating it's like a slimy <laughs> banana, <laughs> making out. Banana are the Bananas are the olives of, of, of the fruit world. Uh, if they oh, touch I'm, something, oh, it's oh, on oh, everything. Yeah, you you don't can't like undo that. I don't like olives either, so if you get a little bit on there. The last time we went, or we were out before the show, I got uh, that olive salad, and you're like, "Here's your yeah, here's sad, your, here's your, here's your yeah, sad yeah. salty salad." <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, it's not good. This so, is actually uh, actually I'm gonna go in. This is an olive. I've got Haribo berries to uh, clean my mouth out. Uh, so the last one mm. when you get to it is peanut butter and jelly. All right, this is uh, the one Zach is going to love the most. I don't, I don't like jelly. I'm glad I went with berry flavor uh, on my side snack so I can play under this. Zach really does not like jelly. You said in the past you do not eat peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, or you've never had a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I don't eat them. So you've had them and just went, nope, not for me. Yeah. Mm. There's not much jelly in this. There's not much jelly in it. There really isn't. This is just like a, oh, peanut butter cup. Oh, this <laughs> sucks. I don't even want to finish it. It's like a sad See, peanut See, I thought cup. that was... That nope. was my favorite. No, nope, that one. No, nope. I don't know, Justin. I think we need to start washing these down. So why don't we jump into drinking stuff? Let's hit it. What? We drink it so you don't have to. Review it in the morning for the bathroom. Cheap booze and craft brews. Review it in the morning for the bathroom. Why do we drink it? Why do we drink it? Yeah. All right, guys. So we are drinking, um, kind of collectively. I feel like this is our, this is the 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 fat hot boy summer drink of the summer. I think this is for sure. We're doing fat hot boy summer this this year, and uh, this is it's yeah, I'm Coors doing... Seltzer, orange cream pop hard seltzer. Uh, Justin and I were discussing it before uh, we went live. I think we have to stop calling them seltzers at this flavor level. This is back to being it a soda. It has sugar in it. It has, it sugar, has sugar in it. it, but it's back to being a soda. This yeah, is way this is more. Yeah, but this is only 90 calories. Sure, but 90 so calories. are some Dr. Peppers and, and some Coca-Colas. Mm-hmm. Like, some of them are low in calories. This, I think, a seltzer, Alcoholic once soda. it soda. becomes so flavorful, it's no longer a seltzer. That's my only gripe against it, because... This is more calories than a White Claw's 100 calories. Yeah, I know, but I'm saying flavor profile is what I go off of when I define a soda. If I t- if you hand me something, I don't take a sip of it and go, ooh, that tastes like calories. I go, that tastes like seltzer. This tastes like fucking soda. Yes. So what we are doing is we're sipping this. Again, we've already had it. We've already... Known we enjoy. We drank a lot of them we this weekend. We drank a lot of them yes. this a weekend. A lot of You bought like four 12 packs of these at one point, like on uh, Saturday. So I bought a 12 pack mm-hmm. before your party. Mm-hmm. Me and Fasano were hanging out here, 
we, we had one. I was yeah. like, oh, this is good. So we left that pack here and bought more on the way to your party. So, so I you had can some save that here. One. Got it. And then you showed up today, and I uh, didn't have any left. And we brought another 12-pack yeah. uh, to the houseboat. So what I wanted to do is, A, let's give it a fair ranking. Um, we're going to grade it as a seltzer because they are claiming it to be a seltzer, and I will subside to the calorie count for, for that category there. But in my brain, that tastes like a soda. Yeah. Uh, we're going to taste this, but then we're going to compare it to actual cream sodas that we have here, orange cream soda. So, uh, Zach, you were kind of the, you were the first one out of all of us to, to find this and try this at the behest of our uh, buddy Fasano. So what is your ranking on this uh, for it being a seltzer at 0 to 100? It's banging. It's really good. It is really good. It's really fucking 75. good. 75. 75. All right. I kind of thought you were going to go higher than that. Uh, Justin, what do you think? Is it Justin? This is Justin. This is it Justin. 80. 80. I think it's that good. It is really that good. I'm going to have to side a little bit, uh, I think, on more on uh, the higher side as well. I'm going to go in the middle a little bit. I'm going to go 78. Okay. Um, this is It's just fucking delicious. It's really easy to drink, and it never gave me, like, a stomach ache that you think the flavor is going to. Like, if you drank as many orange cream sodas as we did. That's why I'm still th calling it a soda. It doesn't have it doesn't the full hit. flavor It doesn't of have it the doesn't. full. Soda. It may it be doesn't. sitting, and I've had so many of these that this is what my brain is calibrated to on cream soda. Orange cream soda. It tastes like this in my head. So what we have, up first to go alongside it, and again, as Zach said, this is going to be a real gross episode. We've got the classic Stewart's Orange and cream. This was my grandfather's favorite beverage in the world. Uh, he drank uh, a lot of Manhattans, and he drank a lot of Stewart's orange and cream, and would make orange and cream floats all the time. He, he really, he really liked that. Uh, so I grew up on this. I've been drinking this for forever. This is what I think when I think small. I mean, quote unquote small, quote unquote right. craft. Uh, not getting your RC and above level cola. This is what I think of the root beer, the birch beer, everything that they make. I fucking love. So I'm interested to compare it next to the actual, uh, or the actual next to the, the alcoholic. This is so much sweeter. Okay, yeah, you do. It's also double the calories. It is double the calories. It's 180. It 180, so you only got to drink half of and it. And there's no booze in it. Yeah, there's no booze. I was going to say, if you're, if you're craving something sweet, and mm -hmm. you, you th that's what could take place of a cream soda. Yeah, going side by side, I taste a little bit of the alcohol, like it a does little it, bit. This actually, it tastes dull if you drink them together. But I do, I kind of, honestly, sorry, Stuart, but I think I'm leaning towards Coors just on the overall yeah. flavor even. So, yeah, I think so. It's a little bland, right? Yeah, that kind of that kind of loses me on the blank. orange side of things. It loses me on the orange side of things. Now, not to be outdone, uh, we decided since we're looking at what beer... Uh, making soda tasting things. Let's find a beer company that's just making soda. And I guess they they were a soda company you know, all along. Well, so it's um, ooh, this is not a twist off. This is not a twist. We need to pop that top. So we've got the Saranac Orange Cream. It is the world famous handcrafted soft drink. Now Justin they smell pointed totally out, different. if you put them side by side and you get a good look, um, the the Stewart's looks manufactured fake bright orange. Oh, this smells amazing. And yeah. this looks. It smells like an orange. Yeah, this looks more natural. It does look more. It's cloudier. Oh, yeah. That actually smells like orange. Now, we'll look at the orange cream down. Let's try that. All right. So, I get the orange. Ooh, I don't get the cream. Way more though. orange. I don't get the cream, though. The cream's on the back of it a little bit. I guess so. Actually, it's kind of there through the whole thing. It's just very, very subtle. This tastes more like the ice cream pop. Yes. This tastes way more like an, even like a Stewart's brand ice cream pop. This definitely tastes more like it. I think I might like Saranac uh, better than than I do like Stewart's the Saranac way than, way more. Yeah. Yeah, I honestly would go. I think Saranac has the best flavor out of these three, but it would go Saranac, Coors, and Stewart's. Yeah, for I me. think this Saranac's got that overly sugar make my mouth hurt thing. Yeah. Oh, yes. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't like, know. I, I feel like a bunch drink, of these are getting dumped out of the I'll drain drink this whole. If I drink this whole thing, my mouth will hurt like yes. eating warheads yes. or something. Oh, it's, God. It's sweet to I almost I just think of going to a baseball like, game as a kid and just eating all the watermelon sour candies and just, you know, yeah, yeah that, that you feel like the inside of your mouth is dried and rotting yeah. all Whereas at once. Whereas the other night, I drank uh, f 400 of these orange cream salsers. And you were hydrated as hell all night long. Yes. 
Hydrated. I feel like the oh, yeah. core seltzer is gonna win out of all of these because we have I, another beer. I we do have another beer. I would put so far flavor wise, I like the flavor of the Saranac over all of them, but I could not get through a whole bottle of that. I no. could definitely not. Now, uh, to keep with the orange and cream, we did a beer company doing soda. Now we've got a, another soda, another beer company doing uh, beer, doing beer, but orange cream style. So this is more in the the craft realm. This is Southern Tier Brewing Company's Orange Creamsicle. It is a 6.5% milkshake IPA. Now we've are you had supposed to shake this? Shake shop. No, I think it's okay, just it's, it's just, just called okay. like they're trying to make it sound like it's from a gotcha, malt shop yeah, or something. Um, there is no I, one here. I uh, am nervous about this one. Um, we've had some luck with milkshake IPAs it in the past. It smells like an IPA. It really it's just, just an episode like an where we puke. It's this one. <laughs> it really <laughs> just be. ate some pizza. Uh huh. Then some true. horrible fucking chocolate. Chocolate. Yep. Uh-huh. Yep. And now we're bunch just, of soda. Bunch of soda. Oh god. And we're just beer and soda. Welcome to and welcome to the seven year old <laughs> version of this podcast. This is literally we're all seven years old. Even. Yeah, we're just tasting out snacks and goodies. Yeah. All right. So I'm gonna give this a sip. Well, it just smells like IPA. It smells like an IPA. I get the mm. orange. It just yeah, tastes like a an sweet IPA. IPA. It's a sweet IPA. It's not bad. Oh, I get the cream. It's not bad. Yeah, I like that. I don't know if I could drink this whole can. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. I'll probably get through it because the sweetness is there. It's not hitting well, it's too heavy on the so stomach. I'm, I, I even drink, the I drink all the garbage shit. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I don't think I've left a one, is true. one empty yet. No, no, you don't leave them empty. You leave them unopened sometimes just because you didn't get there yet. Yeah. And that's yeah. it. You, I very rarely have to dump uh, your bottles if or cans opens, at the end. It's you close it. Yep. You close it by crushing it. Uh, All right, guys. So um, we're gonna sip on these. Uh, we do need to give this a ranking before we jump into some music. So uh, any any thoughts on the orange creamsicle from Southern Tier? Their milkshake IPA. Any any real heavy feelings on this? Uh, I'm gonna go 55. Yeah. Yeah, I'm kind of around there. Um, I'm maybe a little. I'm gonna go 62 on it. It's not. Terrible. I feel like that sweetness taste is turning a little tart in my mouth, though, so I can't go any higher. It's a, it's a failing grade for me. I don't hate it, but I don't ever want one again. 49. Yep. Now we know. Now we know. All right, guys. So as I was saying before, we've got a bunch of music that we're going to be playing for you this evening. The first single is, uh, again, from Merit Parcel. You can find them at Merit, M-E-R-I-T, underscore Parcel, P-A-R-C-E-L on Instagram and pretty much YouTube. Anywhere you find music, go check them out. But the first single we're going to be playing for you is called You Gave Me So Much. Now, this is their more recent single. It came out uh, within the last year. So we're going to be playing this for you. But then, and this is the only one I told them that we were playing. And then right. to make it up to them that, that I, uh, I missed three years of featuring them on this, we're going to throw two more out there. Two of the, one of the ones that I've really enjoyed for a while and another one that probably would have been the featured one three years ago. So, again, here it is. The first single is called Merit... Uh, sorry, from Merit Parcel. It's called You Gave Me So Much. We'll see you guys in a couple of minutes. Enjoy. Check them out. Dig it. the barrel on the back porch for the July. You came along and you picked me up and it was just in the nick of time. I was there in the middle of the fire with my toes in the frying pan. You took a look at your recipe book and then you took my hand. The rags from the bottom. I'm 
Again, there you have it. That's Barrett Parcel. You gave me so much. Again, released uh, just about a, under a year ago. Uh, now, in the video, while we were watching, I was pointing out there's the one gentleman with the dreads, our buddy Lauren. Um, he is the guy that uh, when when Keith, my brother, first moved to Northern California, uh, he got there. And, you know, it's the town has a local economy, and they're all, uh, they, they grow legal uh, items. And mm -hmm. uh, Keith goes, hey, does anybody have said uh, legal items uh, that I could get? And Lauren reached into his bag, pulled out a handful of loose legal items, and uh, went to go hand it to Keith, and then crumbled it in his hand and just threw it to the ground. He goes, it's everywhere, man. <laughs> <laughs> and Keith calls me, like, the next day, he goes, dude, like, you would have, like, you would have had a heart attack. Like, it's just like, how how are you just doing that? And then three weeks later, into me living there, I'm just like, yep, no, it's pretty much, it's everywhere. It's on your clothes. It's, it's, it is everywhere. So yeah. love these guys. Ron uh, wearing the Tampa Bay hat in there, one of the nicest guys I've ever met. And then Sean, who's kind of playing the guitar in the background, is the kind of like the heart and soul of the band. Oh, yeah. um, so he originally performed as Merritt Parcel on his own and then built this up. And most of these guys also participate in a podcast that you can check out that's called Black Sheep and Bad Apples. They cover a wide array of topics. They were just, uh, their latest episode, they were talking about uh, racist gun laws in, in California, and it's not what you think at all. They're like old, weird fucking laws right. that like kind of have like uh, somehow just like the, the strange laws that you look up that like right, can't right, walk right. backwards in front of a courthouse with a quarter in your well, ear type of bullshit. My favorite from PA is uh, when you're traveling down a back road, you need to shoot up a flare every, every like, mile. Every mile, yeah. Or yeah. Uh, if you come across a horse and buggy, you have to pull your vehicle off to the side, or if the horse is too scared to move past, you have to disassemble your vehicle. Yep. It's still you know, something you have to do. You, do you legally, technically have to do it. Yep. Uh, but yeah, go check out uh, uh, that podcast. Uh, I can't rave enough about how awesome they are on that. But let's keep the music train rolling. Next up, this is my per uh, personal favorite song of theirs. This is Turn It All Around. Again, a nice little video here. So if you're listening just in the audio format, come online. Uh, go, you're already online. Go, go to a, a, yeah. a YouTube's and look up Merit Parcel. Again, the single Tur Turn It All Around. Uh, let's just jump right into it. Keep that train rolling. Uh, this is where we start getting more into that, like, kind of... I mean, even that song's a little bit the feel of, like, Traveling Wilburys and that, but this one really kind of, right, like, starts right. pushing it home. So this is where I really fucking start loving it. Right. Enjoy. Time I know that you seem to come and go So I take back down the things you've thrown around You said I know why, yes I know why You've got those troubles in your head and that's 
That one's like a nice, short, fun, poppy no, little like ditty. That, that yeah, is that good. is something that I would... I mean, how it happened to me, I, I listened to it and I immediately put it right back on. It was just fun. And I wasn't listening uh, and looking at the, the video when I first watched it. So then when I watched it, uh, the video, and just realized that they're, they're just stripping for your pleasure, guys. You gotta give it up. They're just stripping for your pleasure. Again, the band's Merit Parcel. You can find them at Merit underscore Parcel on Instagram. You can find them on Facebook. Anywhere that you listen to music, you can pretty much find them. And yep. again, co-operating uh, uh, alongside that, the podcast Black Sheep and Bad Apple. So go check them out. All right, guys. The name alone makes me want to listen to it's it. It's fun. And and like our yeah. show, it starts off rough. You know, like levels are kind of fucked up. Yeah, There's yeah. somebody in the background that's just kind of like, I'm pretty sure Sean's just like in the background at first, just kind of like making sure everything's going all right. They were calling it the Lauren O'Brien show at first. Okay. And it's just like, if you took the first four letters out, it's just the Conan O'Brien show. It's just like the <laughs> blank, blank, blank. Blank N O'Brien show, it just yeah, did, like yeah, fill yeah. in the blank, like a famous talk show. It, 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 you know, so yeah. it could have gotten confusing. I liked it either way. Um, but yeah, they they started off rough, and then they just kind of found their 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 spot. They figured it right. out, and they just are cool. extremely entertaining. So definitely uh, show all the love that you show us to them. Um, yeah. And if you already show them a lot of love, then just bring it back to us. <laughs> just bring it back. All right, guys, we're gonna jump into one more song. This is a shorter version of this song. There is a full extended cut. Uh, Because they do have that jam band feel, so they like to just rock and roll for forever. And if you see them live, they will take a five-minute song and turn it into a ten-minute song. No problem. A lot of jam and a lot of fun. Uh, But the next song, uh, Burn Outright, uh, there is, again, an an extended version that you can see on YouTube. But this is the official music video uh, from 2019. So, again, this is probably the one that would have been close to us uh, featuring them, you know, about, like, two, three years ago. So, again, sorry, guys. Uh, Glad that we finally are playing your music for everybody. And uh, one one day I'll see all your beautiful faces again. So let's jump into this, and then we've got to talk about music that uh, we're releasing. Yeah. Um, which uh, not sorry, way more way more important to me, <laughs> uh, but just to me, and and maybe you too. And that's that's about it. All I'm right, guys. Feeling sick from all this. Cream yeah, 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 yeah. There's a lot of t- too, much cream. Cream. Are we gonna yeah, too much like, cream. Are we too much cream? Too much cream. Too much cream. All right, guys. Well, we're gonna deal with our lactose problems over here. Yeah. Enjoy. <laughs> Burnout right from Merit Parcel. We'll see you in a couple of minutes. Burn out right in my ass. One more. 
saxophone is a huge what kind of saxophone is that when it's that big baritone? is that a baritone is that, there's, there's no bass sax right how big would a bass sax be if that was a you have to stand on top of a building to play it. <laughs> probably you like dude. eight more people yeah, to operate yeah, the valves yeah 18 foot saxophone yeah it's pretty cool it's pretty cool it's yeah, like, it's pretty it's like people right. bragging about having a 30 foot long bong you're like it's not gonna work yeah. it's not gonna be good we're just gonna break you're it you're gonna pass out before you even get anything, <laughs> before you make any noise, you're just gonna be dead. You're gonna, it's you're one, gonna die. It's a one note. You're, you're yeah, just, it just plays a brown note. <laughs> and then the sound of you falling off of yeah. the building. Yeah. That's how it goes. Again, guys, there you have it. Uh, Merit, Parcel, uh, uh, Sean, Ron, uh, Lauren, everybody else in the band. Fucking love you guys. And uh, if you if you dig stuff like Bob Dylan, if you dig fucking modest mouse anything like along those lines that's really where they pull their uh, uh eclectic uh influences from so give them again all your love all your support everything yeah. that you can give them your money if you see them just give them your money uh maybe maybe they'll give you a hug they'll probably give you if you give them money they will definitely give you a hug yeah i'll give you a hug if you give me or anybody else if you tell me you gave someone money i will hug you it's my new deal. All That's right, what I'm just all offering right, to people. Right. Everybody can have it. If you give me enough money, we can poop together and make out. <laughs> Let's and do I it. won't like it, but I'll do it for <laughs> money. For enough. What, what do you think is a starting bid there? I Thousands? Know, like 25 bucks. 25 bucks. All right. Starting at 25 bucks. We'll be back next week with an Does update on that. Does that mean that you that. have to supply the back-to-back toilets, or do they have no, to no, also... You, no, we're just going to do back-to-back no, back buckets. No, for 20 bucks, we're shit. We're oh, shitting outside. We're, <laughs> shitting outside. <laughs> we're finding two uh, trees close enough to each other that were within arm's reach. I mean, if you pay to renovate the bathroom to have toilets yeah. next... I mean, now, what uh, would be the ideal food to eat? Spaghetti and meatballs? Uh, what would we be going at? Uh, what would be the, the easiest thing to feed somebody while you're both uh, pooping? What do you think the easiest... Soup? A cold soup? Tacos. Nice, uh, tacos. G- gazpacho? Yeah, gazpacho. <laughs> I was trying to think of the gazpacho. name. Gazpacho. Gazpacho, yeah. Corn on the cob. Yeah, yeah. I think the corn on the cob. You yeah. were each just or, or corn shoving dog. corn on <laughs> the cob directly into each other's mouths from five feet away. <laughs> I think that's a. I think that's the best thing you could possibly yeah. eat. Chocolate bars. Um, <laughs> so tonight we are releasing uh, track four off of our album "Wasted and Waiting." Yep. Um, as we've been doing, I'm going to give you a little bit of rundown on the history of it uh, of the song itself. We'll play a little. Give me that clip, rundown. And then we'll uh, play for you the the full finished project. Now this song is the most unique out of all of them because this song was lost to time. I uh, was going through my computer, my old, old laptop, like a 12-year-old laptop, and I found a file labeled Bedroom Demos, and I'm like, what the fuck is this? And I 
don't have a history of recording on my own much at all before the last you know like year or so, uh-huh. and not really much history recording at all before <coughs> we started doing this show. So when I saw that, I was like, I wonder maybe Keith used my computer, maybe something like that. And I opened it up, and there were a bunch of these really bad acoustic demos, and some of them were terrible, right. and some of them were for other songs that will be on this album, um, at least two songs that'll be on this album. And so this one's called Poisoned and Free, and and we played it on the show, the demo that we're going to be playing for you, a while ago. But it's so old uh, that I don't remember what it's about. I don't remember who it's about. I can understand, like, the feeling of it. It's like running into somebody that you have history with at a bar and just kind of, like, having uneasy feelings. and, And then realistically knowing that whatever happened between you and that other person you as the line says if you were drowning i'd throw you a rope attached to the anchor like you you just kind of did me dirty and maybe i'm polite when i see you right but right, and right. and then also the inner turmoil of like i wonder how you feel about me if this is how i feel about you right so again don't know who it's about um but that's the 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 heart behind it now the In actual my mind you're singing it to kathy lee gifford all right <laughs> yeah you know what yeah, I'm singing to Kathleen Gifford. <laughs> and I, uh, I, the way it was recorded originally, these demos, I had uh, an acoustic guitar and a shitty old laptop and voice recorder and the microphone that was built into the laptop. So I would record the guitar. Right. And then I would play through the entire <laughs> song, just the guitar. Right. And then I would go back and I would play that track through the speakers of my laptop and using the same microphone, record me singing over it, but kind of like whispering over the top of it. So hey, slacky. we got Slacky in the chat. What's going on? Slack attack. How are you doing? Uh, he is back, Jack. Um, and Selling crack. <sighs> well, everybody else is whack. <laughs> but we, uh, so so I found this and I uh, and we played it on the show because I was just mesmerized that I found this song and I didn't really remember it. And I remember in the chat that night, Richard immediately was like, you you need to turn this into a full-fledged song. Right, right, right. Um, So before we get into turning it into a full-fledged song, let's play the little clip uh, from the demo. Um, and I believe what you're going to hear is like the full demo. It might be the demo where I redid the vocals because we did do that. But I'm pretty Don't sure this is the original, original I one. think this is the original. So we're going to, again, this is just me and an acoustic guitar recording uh, into a uh, a really crappy Toshiba laptop with a really crappy built-in uh, uh, microphone, and then through the speakers back through that microphone again. So right. this is what the original sounded like. And what you leak, go your poison and free. How did I become this kid who thought he knew what you had? I can't forget you, even though that I should. This is the original. I right? can't the yeah, original. Original. you I even know. though the um, That sound on the guitar um, is it, just so pingy and everything. Now, when I found it, I also realized that I was smart enough back then to save both the final, quote-unquote, final version of the demo and also the version with just the guitar on it. Yeah. So that one sounded a lot better. And I was going to re-record the guitar parts. We we're going to have to re-figure out what I was playing there. Um, which again, I'm playing it, so not that difficult. Would have taken Zach about eight seconds to do it. Uh, it took you probably about eight seconds to figure yeah, out what it is. Nine. Nine. Nine and a half. We'll, we'll say an even 12. Um, and then uh, I found that I gave it to you, and then we just re recorded my vocals over that uh, bare guitar track. Right. Now, that guitar track does wind up in the mix here. Yeah. Uh, yep, yep. It's such a weird sound that I don't know how you would recreate that sound. I'm sure there's some. Uh, uh, a pedal, a distortion of some sort of combinations of different distortions, different pedals, different effects um, that could get you to that sound, but it was so unique and individual that I think immediately you wanted to use it. Yeah, You wanted it in there in some way. So um, for you, Zach, when you, when you first were approaching this song, because I think this is like the first one we kind of had mostly done um, or like a lot of like the skeleton of it of it set up because it was a little bit more straightforward of where we're going to go with it. Um, what were your thoughts when you heard it? Where did you think we were going to push? In, in, in which vein did you think that this song was going to go? Did you feel like it was going to be a big full band song just based on what was on the recording? I think I just sat down with a guitar to learn it. Yeah. And that ended up just being what we did. Yeah. And I changed the strum pattern around a little bit. Actually, if you listen to the demo and then you listen to 
what your guitar is actually playing in the what we just did I changed I went in and I cut your guitar up yeah. and changed the strum pattern to, to fit to what you were fit doing. the new thing that I did that I yeah. liked right, better. Right. Now, Justin, as far as the drumming side of this, do you remember? This is again like like a month or so ago that you did these drums. Yeah. Uh, do, what What do you remember about the drum aspect of recording this song? What were your What were your thoughts, um, feelings, hopes, and desires? The one The one major thing that I remember is I think we had originally recorded this song all the way through. Yeah. And we sat back down to record. Or no, this was the first one with the new mic the setup new mics. that we yeah, had yeah. gone through. And I think this one, I think it was about a three-hour session almost. Yeah. I think we were this up was there. This was just you two recording Yeah, we were just doing yeah, the drums. Because like like you did right some work. weird shit that I wouldn't have let you do. Yeah. Yes. That we ended up using. And then again, wound up changing the course of how the song right. uh, yeah. all went together. Now, I will say this is also the first song that Zach... Uh, on the producing side of things basically went this whole part of the song being taken out and it's like the end kind of trailed off and got like I slower just, and sadder it, that was because just it was off time yeah and Justin couldn't record the drums to that part yeah to your vocals at yeah, the end it was, okay it was and then up. we I think I could just completely forgot there was vocals on yeah. the end of it. Yeah, because it's just up there and the thing muted yeah. and you're not using it. Yeah. And then so when I heard it, I went, oh, that's really good. And I totally forgot that there were any other vocals on the tail end of it at all because I had been listening to the demos. Yeah. And then when I went to go, literally today, we like sat upstairs to, to do the, the final vocal recording on it. And you were like, oh, we could add this thing. And I'm looking at the, I'm like, there is a whole other part of this song. And you went, really? And you went up and you found it and went, oh, yeah, that's it didn't fit. So uh, right. this is the first one that has like a whole section from the demo that is not in the final. Uh, but it's better for the song right. that, that it became. The only um, other thing was is uh, in the chorus, there was on one and four, I do a double hit where two and three are almost a floaty. Mm -hmm. scenario and I remember having a conversation he's like well I'm just going to change it to this and I'm like no listen to the vocal pattern yeah you know what I mean well, again, so I was like diving in and out it of was your like a vocal three pattern. hour ordeal of us going over uh, and over and over with the drums yeah. and it did become this was one that like like Zach said like we went in a direction that he probably wouldn't have gone right and but and at it the was, end it was worked out fine yeah, it worked out yeah. like really awesome and this is again like I'm so shocked that, again, w w with what it started at, right. what we were pulling from, that this not only wound up becoming an actual full-fledged, like, realistic song, right? but it became a uh, a shorter, pop poppier, catchier, like, in-your-face uh, uh, sounding song. Now, you, knowing my influences and knowing kind of, like, the sound that we're trying to get across this whole album, you, Zach... Um, when I came in today, you had uh, finished redoing the lead guitar part over it. Yeah. And it reminded me, I said once we were done, like it reminded me of like the songs off of Green Album or Maladroit from Weezer that sound like you go, this could have been the second half of Pinkerton, but you know it's right. not. Like it's just like a little yeah. a little more polished or a little bit poppier than the sound Pinkerton would have given it. But it reminds me of like Oh Girlfriend or even like Slob where there's like it's it's an upbeat major key song, but it has a minor tone, a minor feel to it, in where you decided to go with the guitar, uh, with the lead on that, and it kind of makes a huge difference. In the other songs, like Spencer pointed out last week, where like the bass is kind of the thing that's moving it. Right. This is like the drums keep it driving, the vocals kind of you know do their part, but that guitar part just kind of keeps it going throughout For the sure. entire song, and it really changed the whole scope of it, which I'm really really excited. Uh, to hear and play for everybody, um, for a song that had a sh for an episode tonight that's supposed to have like we have a shitload of music and everything, we are flying through this episode. We are. And I think it's because I, all of us are going to have to need a toilet in about like fifteen well, minutes. Listen, yeah. listen there's also a few things that I want to talk about that we didn't get. We, to we didn't get to. We didn't. Get, I'm just saying we are already <laughs> yeah, on the yeah. song part of this. I think I we think are. soda yeah. and chocolate's going to make for a, a grumbly tumblies in a little bit. Maybe. All right. Before we start talking oh, more about I'm us groaning, shitting ourselves, moaning and groaning, moaning and groaning and loaning to the toilet. You're going to loan it to the toilet. You can't keep. I it already owe my toilet plenty of money. You, you <laughs> <laughs> don't know how that works. All right, guys. So here it is, the full final project off of. Uh, wasted and waiting. Track number four, the full final track. Here it is. Yeah, Poison and free. Part of the final project. I, 
It's poisoned or poison? Poison and free. Poison and free. Poison. Yeah, poison and, free. and, and free. free. Yes. You you put it down correctly. Yeah, yeah you wrote it down correctly. I know, correctly. but it always sounds like I say poison, poison and free. Poison and... I can say poison and free. Poison and... So here's poison and free berries. Wee. Poison. 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 Hey, some cream. Enjoy. Oh, hang on. Well, I'll just God, play with Spencer's face. No, just play, play with Spencer's face on it. That's good. <laughs> no, let's do all of it. Spencer's face, the album cover. Uh, if we can get the thumb picture back up. Oh no, okay. Thumb picture. Yeah, Megan Fox's thumbs. For, before For this thing no, reformatted. It was the foot. It was oh, it was the foot. foot. It, it was, was really no, no. Good. It was her thumbs and then Brie Larson's feet. Yes. We yes. just those would just mm. pop up whenever he was, I was scrolling through things. I thinking of doing a podcast just only about Brie Larson's feet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, it we got the artwork. Like Two hundred. Episodes. Yep, yep. Every, every One for every bone in her foot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Here it is. Poison and free. Track four off of Wasted and Waiting. We'll see you guys in a couple minutes. Enjoy. And there you have it. Poison and free the fourth track off of Wasted and Waiting. Fucking sounds awesome. Again, that guitar, Justin, you were pointing out, just the panning back and forth. Just like yeah, it's so good. Slowly going back and forth. Always listen to our music uh, uh, headphones if you can through dual headphones speakers. First. 
uh, headphones. We, we, we are made for intense personal listening here. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and all of our songs. Intense uh, personal <coughs> gro- grooming and massage. <laughs> we <laughs> also com. are here for that. That's our new website. Uh, you can also just still write things to 123justinsuckspa.com yeah. um, in a letter and it'll get there. Yep. Um, so one thing that we, we were discussing earlier that we yes. did not get to uh, yep. when, when we kicked everything off um, Disney is going crazy. Disney is Disney yeah, is man. crazy. I mean, Disney's um, going crazy. Well, what people don't realize is how big Disney is, and when you it's really huge. break it down, it's yeah. sort of scary. And it's, the fact that they're doing what they're doing now or trying to do, yeah, now it's um, only going to take that one instance. Where Disney it's like, has owned Marvel for the last couple of years. Um, yes. They are. Uh, Putting out Thank movies you, with characters. Thank you very much, Slaggy. Uh, characters named Thor and Loki in them. Now, Thor and Loki are both uh, gods that yes. have existed for the thousands of yes. years. Um, yeah, the, the the Nordic belief system yes. like that that was established. Yeah, oh, and yeah. Uh, they Marvel never one hundred percent owned Thor or Loki. They Nobody use can name. use the name um, now. Their costumes, things like that, that are specifically designed for those characters. Sure, like they you know, can it also own be different those. if the, if it was if it was a character spelled differently True. that didn't use the same L-O-K-K-Y, mythos K K Y and it was low key, or L O W K E Y if yeah, it was whatever. low key yeah they would own that uh, but they are trying uh, and you know a little bit more about this you were reading into it a little right. bit more well it's funny that you go with the low. Basically, it was an article that said Disney is is putting out cease and desist for anything Loki related. Yeah. yeah. And the one dude posted a thing where he's like, I've had this image up for 10 years on the internet. And he goes by Loki. Oh, really? Loki. Oh, okay. Yeah. And they're going after him and, but it's and similar of, people. It's of the mythos of yeah. like old school traditional like. Yeah, book. if he was using a Marvel image and they now owned it, sure, yes. maybe they But they're they going say, after fan art of Loki. Yes. Which they don't own. They don't own the idea of Loki. He and is, not he the likeness god, of right? their character. Yeah. Not yeah. the person that plays not it. Tom not Tom Hiddleston, any of the, not the outfits, not, 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 not him the with the horns. Comics, none of yeah. that. Just going for the anything related to Loki. My big for. question is, hey, like, don't you have enough? Like, how, how much do you have to go after? I mean, we're going to get shut down uh, for this. The three people that listen are going to report us. Yeah. Um, but, like, how much more do you need? Like, But literally, that's what Disney does to... I think preserve to, to preserve mm-hmm. their brand oh, of course. in the like in the eyes of idiots maybe yes. you know yes. what I mean it's like when people like oh I, do, I remember when deep fakes first came out my dad's like oh, it was I don't know some news anchor or something yeah. oh I tried the craziest nude of that person yeah. Yeah. I was like that's a that's it's a fake. deep fake yeah, yeah it's a deep like, fake the head is like shit. this way yeah, yeah. <laughs> or, or they're, they're the guys even head. sometimes they're so good but like yeah, Disney oh yeah. has the money to anything that may not agree exactly yeah. with the way they want to be portrayed as a company of course they have the money to snuff that out even though it has nothing to do with it but the crazy, they don't want dumb people to true to but the crazy thing together. is they've owned it for a while and it's now that the show sure. is out and more of an, a name they've not had loki in the name of well, anything that was gonna before. be my next thing that i was gonna get to is it a publicity song because when coco was coming out they went after partially yeah to own the day of no the press dead. is bad press and they know that better so than i mean anybody. if you're releasing something that's based on the day of the dead yeah you got a movie coming out and you're like Anybody that celebrates this, we're going after yeah, we're because going after we're putting yeah. out this this you know product. Yeah, it's like the carpenter now go after everybody like, celebrating wait, Halloween. What? No. You know, he could have gone after everybody. All oh, what did you say? Happy Halloween? Yeah, give me fucking money, man. Yeah, yeah, give exactly. me money. Uh, the Muppets own Christmas, just so you know. They they did Christmas <laughs> card. They own Christmas. If you say Scrooge or anything like that, you right. owe the Muppets money. Uh, but this immediately the 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 thought pattern I had when we started talking about this is I really hope. That Disney just starts making movies about all of the gods, right? <laughs> all, all, like go after every god, right? Well, there's like, one they, they could, and then cease and desist. They couldn't do the 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 Islam or the, the Muslim religion. They, they couldn't they do that um, because they would. Uh, well, you can't show the image, so yeah. you kind of have yeah, it, like, yeah, unless yeah. it's just, like, pay no attention to the guy back there. He's there, though. He's there, though. Um, but, yeah, no, uh, I want them to do, like, a Super Jesus. 
All like right. just like I want them to do Super Friends, basically. Super Jesus, like is Super a Jesus. Good name. Yeah, Super Jesus would be great, and I want them. We're copywriting it right now, Disney. You can't have it, uh, but if you want it, you can buy it. But um, it has to be done in cel shade, old school cel shaded. Yeah. You can't use modern technology for Super Jesus. Sorry, yeah, no, Disney. it's gotta be it's gotta be real fucked up looking, and uh, but it's gotta be uh, modern stories using yes. the character of Jesus, yes. and then you just start going after all the churches for. Oh, I'm sorry, you were doing what? No, 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 we own this. We own this. <laughs> Or like Krishna, just super Krishna, just like all the arms, like so many arms, just attacking everything, like going fully against the, uh, the, the, the Hindu religion. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just spitting, <laughs> slapping the fuck out of people. Which uh, is crazy because Disney made their whole career on stealing shit. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Snow, oh, yeah. Snow White, everything. Pinocchio, all that, sh- all that early shit that made Disney what it is today. Was Hans Christian Andersen stories yeah, and, and Grimm didn't come stories? Up with any of that? No, maybe Cinderella. They Song might've... of the South is the only thing he good came job. up in his head. Original, and, uh, original. That was a good. That was a classic. Honestly, you can see it anywhere you want. You can honestly, see it wherever you, you want. Honestly, if you think of any major corporation, that's all they've done. Blizzard has stolen all their lore and stuff from everywhere else. Yeah. Activision, Call of Duty, Modern Warfare, and other f- games were out before Epic. Doom was way out before that. Walmart, they just looked at a brand and were like, oh, we can do all this plus that. You know, like it's the top dogs are the ones yeah. that steal it and do it correctly and navigate yeah. through the yeah. fucking you legal side of things. You can't get in trouble, things. yeah, when you've got all the law in your hand. Yeah. Um, now, Slacky just put up a little list there that Disney pretty much owns everything. Can you read uh, it says, the Disney list? Disney owns everything. ESPN, ABC, Lucasfilms, Pixar, Hulu, A&E Networks, The History Channel, Marvel, Marvel, 20th Century Fox, 20th Century Pictures, Touchstone Pictures, and obviously Disney Studios. Yeah. And that's just now. That's just now. And that's a lot of that just in the last, like, 15, 20 years they've purchased all of that. But back to to Zach's point, I didn't even think about that. Literally, all of their start uh, of every story comes from them ripping somebody off. Even when you look at the Lion King, the Lion King, it's called Kimba the White Lion. It's an anime from, like, the 60s. That is almost verbatim. There's a guy named Scar. Yeah, he's got a face for a scar. But it's also what Hamlet. It's Hamlet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hamlet. But but the Kim of the White Lion was also pretty much just Hamlet. Okay. So they took it and they just made it. Like you said, they made it better. Aladdin sure. is one of the oldest stories in history. Like that is all like the grim fairy an tales. old, old, old fairy tale. And all then, the grim stuff. All the grim stuff. Like what they can they can keep Great Mouse Detective, but that's just Sherlock Holmes. Like yeah, literally yeah, everything yeah. you think of that they've done is just taking from something else. So the fact that they're going after people is literally just a, maybe it's publicity. They don't really need it. Toy Which Story. Mean, a, they totally ripped off the Puppet Master. Yeah, yes. totally. Yeah, I thought you were gonna say the Page Master for a second there. Like, after you said it, I went. Did you just say the Page? Uh, page no. Master. Well, now it is. Now it is. Now I think it is. it's a, I think it's, 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 a, it's 20th, 20th Century Fox. Fox yeah. Um, uh, does that mean Mickey Mouse Club was just their version of Howdy Doody then? Yes. Oh, okay. exactly. Okay. Oh, definitely. Oh, 100%. Yeah. Cause that right. was going on in the 50s yeah, and the 60s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, like they, they have made their whole existence off of thi- uh, off of pretty much ripping off other people. And, and and now they're getting mad at people for using an image or a name that is similar or exactly the same of as a character. Of something they ripped off. Of something that they yes. ripped off. It is kind of ridiculous. It's like if Vanilla Ice got mad that somebody ripped off his song. Like if you sampled Vanilla Ice <laughs> and funny he if sued he actually you. Actually, that happened. Remember Coolio? Yeah. yeah. When uh, he got all mad at Weird Al? Yes. Yeah, from poking fun. Yes, yeah, from yeah. poking fun. But that him. Coolio song is a sample of Stevie Wonder. Yep. Yeah. Yep. yeah. That's yeah. a Stevie Wonder song. Yep. That, that Coolio, I, you paid for it. But and then like so and, then weird, and then weird so, Al used that. And he it's paid like, for it too. He made like his How money. is Coolio the one angry at this? Yeah. He's like the one. He... Who stole Mr. Potato Head? Disney. Oh well, they yeah, I mean, own, Mr. I, guess I mean, they. they I wonder Wait, if they own owns Mattel? Mattel. They must. Who owns Mattel? Google that. See if they own Mattel because that would make sense. No, Mattel is. Uh, or, or or maybe is it Has- Hasbro. Hasbro. Now Hasbro? Owns Mattel? I don't know, but uh, Mattel yeah. and you know Mattel and Hasbro might be one company now. But they nope. definitely no. Nope. Do- Disney buys Mattel and Hasbro for four billion. When did that happen? 
April 1st, 2014. Jesus. Okay, yeah, so yeah, they just fucking... But before that, they just stole Mr. Yeah. Potato. And they probably had a contract. Don't, they probably don't had get a contract caught with. putting pushpins in a fucking potato. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> you will get arrested. They're going to be like, we saw you doing that. We and... saw you put your wiener in that potato. <laughs> Man, did you just put a snake in a boot? You can't even They're do like, that we're anymore. Not, we're not even Disney. We're just the police, and you're at a playground fucking a potato, sir. <laughs> <laughs> it's, you're going to have have to come with us to Disney jail. Disney jail. Oh my god. If there was Disney jail, do you think it's the most immaculately clean jail ever, though? No, I think there's a seedy Whoa. underbelly Whoa. of Disney. It's the scene in every Disney movie where, like, the bad guy gets a chorus, and he just, you know, yeah. like, like Jafar has his song, but it's just only that lighting. All right. And a All bunch right. of hyenas marching All right. around. We've gotten to something deep here. All right. I what have we, to go through this. Deep this is... I always want to know when I'm deep in something. Okay. Companies that Disney owns. Okay. Right? Full list. Marvel. Yes. Marvel Internet Productions. Uh -huh. Marvel Entertainment. Mm -hmm. MLV Incredible Productions. All right. All of that shit. All the Marvel. toy series, animation, worldwide, including press, all that stuff. Uh -huh. Marvel Music, so on and so on. Then they have Walt Disney Studios, the parks, corporate, yeah. obviously, Disney Music Group, theatrical group. Then they own ABC, A&E, &E, Crime Investigation Channel, History Channel, FYI, Vice, uh, ABC, Longhorn Network. Is that the one for the Steakhouse? Of, well, it's yeah, it's part of ESPN, but it is. Oh, okay, a, it's for the Steakhouse. Cool. Sphero, uh, Steamboat Ventures. There is Steamboat a massive Ventures. fucking list. Yeah. So, like, with 20th Century Fox, you got Blue Sky Studios, Fox Digital, Zero Day Fox. Oh, yeah. Uh, FX, which is Baby TV, Fox Digital. Um, then you got all kinds of shit, dude. So, we need to just basically start finding the most obscure things that Disney owns and stealing them. Try to do them better than and Disney. Try to get famous. And then try to get Disney to sue us. Or buy the thing from us. I think that's Buena a good... Vista Street? Yeah, Buena Vista. They, they've owned that for a while, Buena yeah. Vista. That's like the, their like old, old Wonderless one. Productions, Super Comic I think that used to be what they would put their like live action stuff under was under Buena Vista. Because it just all. means a good view. Oh, yeah, I do remember that. Yeah. Uh, Indian Warrior Productions, Disney Fine Art. I think they should, they should stop calling it Indian Warrior Productions. Yeah, what is they Indian own Warrior GoPro. Production? They own GoPro? They own GoPro. Jesus Fo And they Christ. also own Photo Bucket. Well, I guess they own us because we're using a fucking Does GoPro over here. Does anybody use Photo Bucket anymore? Then, wow, then in the Chinese bucket. market, they have YU, Coke. Coco China, uh, Fun Plus. There's well, all they own half. We don't even need to get the Chinese stuff. They own like they have so much interest in China. China they own energy owns services. More of them. Maybe, maybe they because have, they literally Chinese have people apologizing for saying government. the wrong things in, in so movies. So if Disney has a partnership in yeah. China, they're partially owned by the Chinese government. Yeah, yeah. Well, they uh, they have I'm an not energy company. My Disney Plus. They got too many good shits on there. Look at this list. They've got all the good shits. They got all the good shits. I literally don't watch any of. This. Really? It's crazy. But you love yeah. Star Wars. I do watch. Star you Wars. like Marvel <laughs> movies when they're coming out. You at least well, go see them when they some come of out. Them, yeah. Um and the uh, National Geographic. I mean, I right? have they have own stick. National Geographic. I might have a Star Wars t shirt on right now. You might? Maybe. I might have Star Wars underwear on right now. I don't think I do. Yeah, I definitely yeah, you do. have. I definitely have Star what does that tag say on it? Probably <laughs> Disney. I, I have two Disney. I have a no, just one. I have. A, does Disney own Jaws now? No, uh, but I have a Mufasa tattoo. You do have a Mufasa tattoo. Yeah. Oh, your arm's getting sued. Getting sued. By getting, there was actually machine. another thing that uh, father wanted a. His son had died, like a very young child well, died. Just and father, yeah. Fa like, well, this, well, this father. Are, I think you're speaking of your own father. Well, no, father no, wanted dude, me to be prosperous. <laughs> no, this this guy over in the UK. The daddy man asked, wanted to put Spider Man on his kid's gravestone. Oh yeah, they wouldn't. And they let wouldn't him. let him. They wouldn't let him. Mm. Yeah, cease and desist your dead kid's fucking yeah. gravestone. And, and how shitty is it Christ. for the the person that was etching that like? I guess I should check with Disney on this one, guys. Like, well, yeah, like are they ever gonna fucking go to a of goddamn it and posted it everywhere? Like, hey, look at my dead kid. Um, like, uh, unless you were gonna do that, they never would have found out. It's better to uh, ask for forgiveness than permission, right? 
get the publicity of Disney ripping your kid's gravestone out. Be like, you want to come take this gravestone down? You take the fucking gravestone down yourself. I'll be here every day with cameras. Yeah. And you, and I'm going to ask like, them if they work for Disney. And if I mean, they don't Disney save, stole well, my dead son's body. <laughs> yeah. Wouldn't be the first time, He's I'm in sure. in the new movie. Yeah. It's a, Pinocchio Geppetto 2. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> Geppetto. Necropetto. Necropetto. <laughs> Oh, Necro Pedo. Please Necro-pedo. don't make that movie. He only fucks dead children. <laughs> it'll oh be my out God. under it'll be out under the 20th Century Fox uh, label because that's where they're going to be putting their R-rated oh, stuff out. Jesus oh Christ. Jesus! All right, guys, we're going to wrap it up here. Thank you so much, everybody. <laughs> that's a good name, dude. Necro Pedo, uh, but P E T T O, because he's he's just yeah. is he making more like bodies uh, out of wood well, into small no, children? No, now he's now he's. Frank and Stunning now he's Frankensteining children, Frank children yeah. into yeah. puppets. Into puppets. Dead, ba- dead baby children into Necro actual Pedos puppets. monster. Necropedos <laughs> monster. All right, guys. Well, uh, stay tuned for that. That's going to be out on Disney Plus in the next six months, yes. I'm sure. Yes. Um, uh, but again, a big thank you to the guys over at Merit Parcel. Go uh, check them out Indy. at Merit underscore Parcel uh, Indy. Indiana Jones. Oh, no, they don't. Paramount owns Indiana Jones. Yeah. Oh, that's right. That's yeah, right. That's Paramount, right. Paramount, Paramount owns does, them. yes. I had Disney Plus on one TV at work the other day and uh, uh, the Paramount Channel and I had Han Solo and Indiana Jones on either side of me. It was a very nerdy, great day, but I felt comforted. You're just getting double teamed by Harrison Ford. Oh, I felt so comforted. Universal owns Jaws. At one point, he was... Universal owns Jaws. Okay, yeah. all right, that makes sense. Yeah. The Universal uh, City Walk ride and everything like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But again, uh, go check out Merit Parcel at Merit underscore Parcel on Instagram. You can find all their links from there. Currently in uh, talks to be bought by Disney. Yes, they're going to be bought by Disney. <laughs> go check out Black Sheep and Bad Apples available on YouTube or wherever you get just your a quick thing. podcasts. Yeah. Every time you look at the Disney logo, I just say Disney. It does head. look like Disney. Because it, it looks like a G. It looks way more yeah. like a G. Disney? Yeah. But it's backwards, and you don't even think of that because it's like that. Like It his, doesn't ever look like a D. But it looks like yeah. a G. Ever yeah. since I was a kid, I thought well, it was Disney. Disney, and I was like, I don't get why it's spelled like that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, go check out those guys, Merit Parcel. Next week, we are going to be back with the, the fifth track off of Wasted and Waiting. We are also going to be having some guests in studio and a band uh, called Cicadia from Oklahoma City. Oh, yeah. Our guests next week will be James O. And if he doesn't leave my apartment, my cousin John will be here as well. Uh, just kind of hanging out. He's going to be here for the weekend. we got wedding and bachelor party, long weekend ahead of us. I'm sure there will be stories from that next, uh, oh, next yeah. week. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, by the way, Kyle yeah. turned another year. Oh, yeah, I'm 35 now. So now we've got 40, 35, and, and 30. Justin, you're still old as fuck. Uh, so, fuck me. Um, I did only lose one hair today. So only one hair. Happy. Justin pulled out a hair earlier, and he goes, oh, no, I think I'm going bald. <laughs> <laughs> he had one hair in his head, and I'm looking at him like, hey, buddy, I don't want to make you upset here yeah, or anything. It's just one, T- tell that to... The sink in the upstairs shower. Oh, it's just yeah. one, dude. No, yeah, the it's just sink one. in your shower. That's the good to know. Drain in the one. shower. And I said upstairs shower like we had two showers. Yes, <laughs> yes. Yeah. So you got the one outside when it's raining. No, the downstairs is yeah. a, only a foot shower. Yeah, it's a foot shower. You just jam your foot. <laughs> <laughs> All toilets are showers if you're flexible enough. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, again, we'll be God, back next dude. Tuesday with episode five, the fifth track off of Wasted and Waiting. Go check out all of our friendly, lovely, wonderful uh, podcasts that we always like to promote. But what do we know? Who we do the theme music for? Go check out Sean and Dave Make Music. And you can also check out Not Movies, which uh, Zach and I have been featured on in the past. And then also, the as I said a little bit earlier, or much earlier at the beginning of the show, mm-hmm. our episode of Let Me Ask You a Question is finally out. It is yep. Sans uh, Anthony, uh, but you can check out all the other episodes with him. But this one, it, kudos to Eric, because that was a, a, like, listening to it and knowing what conversation we actually had, that was a fuck of an episode for him to have to edit and he did yeah. a phenomenal job it actually works out really well and he features almost the entirety if not the entire song of Bree off of our album Bubba Chetta I think so, Feta oh sorry uh, Feta yeah you're right Feta, Feta. Feta. Yeah, yeah. the episode yeah. is called Gouda Episode yes. um, which is a, a joke that I missed in the middle of the episode so go mm-hmm. check that out mm-hmm. again big ups to EJ5000 Greg Mann, and Sir Anthony of the Angels over there big go ups. check out everything over at moot.tv uh, as always, a big thank you to Mr. Justin Olimpedo for getting everything put together and out You're for welcome. you guys. I'm sorry that uh, all the shit shit show of uh, stomach yeah, s- stomach yeah. gatherings yeah. here. I, I said off the bat, oh, I really like doing the weird thing right up front. That was pretty fun. And then halfway through the episode, I'm just like, 
I'm gonna die. Speaking of dying, big thank you to Mr. Zachary. Walt Jism. Torvin. <laughs> Walt Jismany. I jism on my knee. It tastes as good as jism ham, I bet. Oh, yeah. Uh, All right, guys. Well, for Kyle Mocha, won't shut up. I am Kyle Mocha. We'll see you guys next fuck week. You. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck the fans. Fuck Jack. And Jack. Jack Sparrow. Nicholson. Kerouac. 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 Jack Kerouac. Kerouac. Hit the road, Jack. Jack Kerouac. Kerouac. Jack Attack. There's nothing more egomaniacal than singing the theme music for your own show. Who am I? Kelsey Grammer. If I could only drink like him, we're gonna write a new one every week. Some will be solid, some will be weak. We're gonna write a new one every week. Some will be solid, some will be total experimental. Peace is a shit. Yeah.